everybody and welcome back to Holistic Healing by Tiama. Today I wanted to find out exactly what is going to be coming up in the full moon period for you guys. So sit back, relax and get comfortable. And if you haven't already, make sure that you have got a nice cup of tea and a nice little snack. So that you don't get dehydrated or hungry during today's reading. With that being said, let's go into today's pick a pile portion of today's reading. So, first of all, we have here with pile number one is the bump. So, pile number one, we have the bump. Beautiful, beautiful energy. So that is, again, pile number one is the bump. Then we have pile number two is the baby. Pile number two is the baby. So again, pile number two is the baby. Cute little baby. And then, wow, pile number three is the Jedi. So pile number three is the Jedi. So we've got pile number one is the bump. Pile number two is the baby. It's made with clay, so it's crumbling a little bit. And power number three is Ray the Jedi Knight. I will see you in your pile. Hello, power number one. Welcome back to your tarot card reading. If you are new here, then welcome. Don't forget to press subscribe and like. But yeah, hi. Power number one, let's find out what's going to be, what you're manifesting in the full moon. That's what I'm going to make the title, because that's what it was supposed to be, but I got a little bit distracted. But yeah, let's see what you're manifesting in the new moon. One, two, one, two on the phone. Even though it's uh, on the time, even though it's two, three, three on the clock, it's uh, 12, 12 at the moment. So yeah, let's see what you are manifesting with this full moon period. Okay, so I can see that power number one with the bump, you are manifesting possibly a the end to a pregnancy or the end to a relationship perhaps you are wanting to have a miscarriage you might have been listening to um some frequencies to try and cause you to have a miscarriage because you are wanting to abort your baby currently and yeah i can see that you are wanting to stay away from your relationship that you have been in and you're wanting to run away so you're wanting to get away from the person that you're in a relationship with because from the outside it might seem like it's heavenly like it is a beautiful relationship but on the inside you know how painful it is for you and you're wanting to get away from this because you realize that with this Gemini energy there are two sides to everything there are two sides to every coin and you don't want to be stuck in this situation anymore so you are currently going through the process of running away from a relationship which you know is going to help you to to uh, improve your fertility in the future so that is really positive because I can see with the hanged man coming out that you are going through a time that you have been have been manifest like what you're manifesting with this this full moon is the end to uncertainty because you prophesized that this would come you prophesized that there would be a day where you'd be able to just relax and be yourself without having to worry about what's going on in the world around you and i can see that that is what you have manifested for yourself in this full moon period i can see that you're probably not going to really be doing too much but i can see that you you were at the point where you wanted to like previously you wanted to have like babies or something like that but you're not really wanting to anymore you're just realizing that I just want to chill out and do me a little bit and I just want to focus on myself so power number one I can see that you are just wanting to spend like the thing that you are manifesting for yourself is time to spend with yourself perhaps yeah yeah definitely because you've been through a lot of pain you've been through a lot of backstabbing and you've been through a lot of people who have hurt you and a lot of people who have played you in the past 
So in order to get over this and in order to find a, a healthier new beginning, you're realizing that you've got to take time for yourself. So you're actually going to be spending time just like meditating and journaling things that you will um, accept, the things that you will tolerate, and then putting in healthy boundaries to make sure that you don't get into any kind of karmic relationships or negative situations like you have been in in the past. Because I can see with the King of Cups in reverse that there are going to be a lot of people you have been manifesting the ability to free yourself from these people but I can see that in this full moon period there are going to be people who are trying to tell you their emotions who are trying to tell you how they feel and I can see that it, it's not because they want to psychically attack you but it's because they can see that that you ha you have manifested an opportunity for yourself to move on on and they're seeing how well you're doing without them and they're wondering like is there a place for you in your life in in their life any in in each other's life anymore and you don't want anything to do with them anymore but they still want you in your life so you're going to have to make sure that during this full moon period that you are setting healthy boundaries but yeah I can see that you are manifesting the opportunity to like do some spells which is going to be fun um because I'm manifesting that myself um so yeah you're that's one of the reasons why you're manifesting um like the old connections just going away because you want to be able to have the money and the time for yourself so that's that's really positive because I can see the universe is is telling you that you're going to be abundant during this time you're going to have so much to offer yourself and to the world around you that you're going to be having like again so many offers and that is one of the things that potentially you have been manifesting on the new moon period but I can see now that it has arrived you're just like oh my goodness just leave me alone like I don't want to talk to anybody I don't want any new friends I just want to be a bit selfish and sit in the bath for an hour <laughs> so you do that that is what you have been manifesting for yourself so do that make sure that you are spending time to be selfish and do the things that you love because at the end of the day only you know what's best for you and I can also see that you have possibly potentially been manifesting the opportunity to like overcome a fight with somebody like you have been having people who have been opposing you for a long period of time and you're just really manifesting the opportunity to cut them off for for final for good and I can see that perhaps they they are not going to give up easily but I can see that you're going to like kill them with kindness by just being yourself you're just going to kill these people off so thank you very much power number one for checking out your reading I am trying to leave these readings quite short today because I am aware of the fact that I do go overboard a little bit sometimes with the guidance that I can give you sorry if this is a little bit sh like short for you guys but I will do extended I'm not going to do an extended today because I have not got everything sorted out yet to do that however I am looking towards expanding my channel so that I can start to do extended and also so that I can start to uh, answer the personal questions that you actually have and if you do want to book a personal tarot card reading then you can do so on my wix.com Com, which is on the link in the bio to my Instagram account and also you can also book on my you you know me account which um I don't really use a lot because I do have a lot of fans who um who a lot of karmic fans now obviously I know that we have like fans and everything like that but these fans are quite karmic so they'll troll me and they'll say things like oh can I come to your house to meet you and things like that when they don't actually have plans on meeting me they want to catch me out off guard because I was pregnant at the time they wanted to catch me off guard when I wasn't able to necessarily stand up for myself and try and get into my flat so that they could steal all of, all of my things for themselves because as you can clearly see I am extremely abundant because it's just my birthright to be this abundant and I don't let anybody take the piss out of me so anyway thank you very much power number one that was your reading and i will see you next time bye and also if you're wondering why i am veiling up it is because scorpio season is now over so it is best for us all to veil up if possible when we are out in public or wear a head covering thank you very much namaste goodbye hello power number two welcome back to holistic healing by tiamat if you chose the baby and welcome to all my new subscribers and everything as well if you chose the baby then this is your reading for all about what are you manifesting for the full moon in Gemini oh yeah <laughs> let's see what you're manifesting power number two so there's quite a lot of there's quite a different energy from power number one here you're quite an upbeat pile so yeah let's see what you are manifesting you cool little chickas wow okay 
Wow, power number two, you are manifesting. I can see that you're manifesting a better beginning, a better start for you and your children, because it's likely that you do have children. And I can see that you are trying to manifest that you will be able to have a good start for them. Now, I can see that if you're trying to psychically attack a goddess or an empress, this is not going to work out for you, especially if you're trying to stop them from um, like having their babies or anything like that, because that is their birthright and you cannot do anything against them. So you need to just like stay in your own lane. However, I can see that when it comes to your family that you already have, you're going to be taking time to actually start to do some things with them and for them that is improving their lives rather than just trying to compete with others or just trying to be something that you're not. You're actually going to be spending time with these people because you care about them. So I can see that something that you've manifested for the full moon period is actual good, meaningful, quality time with the people that you care about rather than just sitting there on your phone. So that's really positive and I can see that that is going to be something that is is actually achievable for you. So I can see that, yeah, during this full moon period, you're going to really be spending more time with your family and friends and you're really going to be spending time in the present moment rather than looking towards the past because I can see that you have been spending a lot of time in the last year or so looking towards your past and looking towards all of the different things that you haven't done right in your life or all of the things that you haven't yet done in your life. But you are being called to actually raise your vibration vibration and to focus on the present moment during this full moon period because I can see that perhaps some of the things that you have been manifesting from the past during this time are not going to come back into your life. I'm so sorry to say that but for example if you had a really good job in the past and you're thinking how can I get that kind of money back again you're going to have to just think of a new way to get money. because spirit is trying to let you know that those old patterns you were in were not healthy for anybody, let alone for yourself or for your community. So I can see that you are manifesting the opportunity to create something as well. You're manifesting the opportunity to be able to, to create something that puts you in a position where you are able to be more passionate with those that you care about. I can see that you, you got yourself up to a, a king energy or a queen energy, but now you're going back down to a page energy because you just want to have a little bit of fun. And I can see that you're not really bothered about other people judging you and thinking, oh, this person's not good enough. You're just wanting to do the best possible thing for yourself. And this is going to cause you to feel like you are more relaxed and more able to just be more free with your energy and have more time for yourself so that's something again that you that you've been manifesting for yourself the opportunity to just be playful without having to worry too much and without having to be too serious because we only get one chance at life and if you try to make everything too serious and you take you take yourself too seriously you're just going to find that all of that built up pain all of that residual childhood trauma is actually just causing you to one three one three on the clock um so that's holy trinity energy is causing you to stay stagnant in the same cycles and you're not able to really improve anything for yourself so that's one of the reasons why you have been manifesting the ability to just be playful with your friends and family but i can see that with the knight of swords you have also been manifesting the opportunity to to i'm going to be brutally honest with you right now power number two i can see that you're going to get into a fight because you've been manifesting it um usually i'd say like um don't go around fighting people but this is something that you're really really serious about you're really angry that someone is is perhaps like interested in your mate or perhaps perhaps they're trying to mess with your life in some way perhaps they're putting um like spells on you or intentions on you and i can see that you're just really angry that they have been interfering in your life so much so i can see that during this full moon period that for pi for power number two there is going to be a big battle so i can see that that is something that is going to be coming in your life for you so okay let's move on but you're going to be ending up either you or the person who you fight with is going to end up getting a lot of public recognition so the person who you're like possibly potentially jealous of is going to end up 
getting a lot more public recognition and it's likely or or if if it's the other way around it's likely that you're going to get a lot of public recognition and your haters are going to end up left out in the cold really hating their lives wondering what the hell they can do moving forwards and as you can see on this card there's going to be a lot of people around you who are fighting for you who are fighting for your rights who are fighting for for your for your upliftment but um, I can see that you have you have been holding place for somebody, but you're not going to be doing that anymore. You're just going to kind of be letting them go. And yeah, so power number two, I can see this is more of a not a divine feminine collective, like because feminines could be like males as well. But I can see this is a woman who is is particularly interested in this reading today. So it is a woman who is going to be like cutting off all of the men in, in the community around her. And this is going to cause her to be having quite a lot of public recognition this is going to be causing her to be feeling like she can sit on her platform and be herself without having to worry about are there people going to come and try and take me off my throne because I'm a, I'm a divine feminine because I'm beautiful and because they're jealous of me and you're going to realize no no one is going to come and take you away from your home no one's going to stop you from doing the inner work anymore no one's going to stop you from doing work on your chakras anymore no one's going to stop you from from making the bag for your family anymore no one's going to stop you from looking after your family anymore no one's going to try and take your children or your home away from you anymore i can see that no one is going to try and and take your your wealth from you anymore because out of jealousy again and i can see that you're just going to be really able to express yourself in a healthy way without having to worry about oh my goodness am i going to get hurt by a bunch of people because because I'm expressing myself freely because I'm being me and you're going to realize no you're going to start like dating you're going to start seeing people and you're going to realize you don't have to be controlled by a narcissist in order to live your life you can just be you you don't have to have anybody telling you what to do you can literally start to be free and that's so empowering and so beautiful so namaste and thank you very much for watching I will see you next time one love. Goodbye, my beautiful earth angels. That is your reading power number two. See you next time. Bye. Oh, just quickly before I go into pile number three, my pile number twos, I just wanted to let you know, don't forget to check the community tab and the description box for thanks. See ya. Bye. And I also, I've got like a online event coming up. So you've only got like two days left to order the tickets. Otherwise you won't be there. <laughs> So see you, bye. Hello, hello, my beautiful, beautiful angelic power number threes. Let's see what you have manifested during this full moon in Gemini. Ooh la la. <laughs> let's see, let's see, shall we? What have you manifested during the full moon in Gemini? Okay, so with the king of swords, you have manifested all of your enemies dying. <laughs> nice one. So... Oh, I'm pretty sure we're on the same page right now, Divine Masculine. This is a Divine Masculine card, that's why I'm saying this. But yeah, we're on the same team right now, Divine Masculine. And I'm not your enemy, so don't like go killing me off because I want the same thing as what you want. So it's likely that we're probably manifesting each other right now, power number three. <laughs> I don't know who's in my power number three, but hi. <laughs> anyway, so this is a Divine Masculine pile, power number three. And I can see that you really are in your air sign element you're you're kind of taking um advice and guidance from the aquarius collective right now and you're looking towards the way that they manifest things so effortlessly however they're a they're able to easily put in healthy boundaries with ease and i can see that because of this there are lots of people who are also trying to manifest you however you were trying to like kill off all of your enemies with with like well spirit is basically like it's nothing to do with you basically spirit is killing off all of your enemies because they are not going to god and asking for the right kind of guidance and the right kind of advice to manifest you back so what you are manifesting in your life is just the opportunity to be in this king of swords energy like independent free uh, able to think clearly that's the main thing that you really really like that's what i'm seeing spirit is just stressing that you are just wanting to have a bit of time to just Think clearly for yourself. Sorry about that. I just need to pull my trousers up. Because I can see that a lot of people have been trying to skew your your vision. A lot of people have been trying to mimic you as well. Like, definitely a lot of people have been trying to mimic you, Divine Masculine. And a lot of people have been 
have been trying to read your energy so they can work out what you're doing next so that they can do it before you do it because they they see that this annoys you somewhat and they just want to to do that to you so yeah I can see that um you're just manifesting the opportunity to think clearly to be able to have some time to meditate because there are so many people who are trying to stop you from being able to manifest this opportunity that you are, are are having for yourself that you're just like oh my goodness get off my back satan get beneath me satan and they're all like oh please all these codependent karmics are like please i just i remember that one time in first grade where i let you drink out of my cup well yeah can you return the favor it's like no get your own fucking cup because the whole time i was the one that was fucking filling your cup with water in the first place So yeah, I can see that you're just really manifesting this opportunity to be in your King of Swords energy. Cutting off all of the people who are, are trying to take you for granted, for trying to take your weaknesses as, as like take, taking the piss out of your weaknesses and you're going towards the divine person who you are, are wanting to have a connection with and you're, that's why you're in the King of Swords energy because you are wanting to just actually have time during this full moon period to speak to the person that you love and you're wanting to cut off any karmics that are getting in your way including your divine person i'm guessing it's a divine feminine but because this is a reading for a divine masculine but yeah it, it's going to be different for everybody so just take it however it resonates but i can see that you're going to be having time to actually speak to your divine feminine about how it is you feel about them about what it is that you actually want from this connection and about actually where it is that you see yourself with them rather than feeling like you've got to go into your ego and hide your feelings i can see that you're actually going to be able to to speak openly and honest or honestly to this divine being and i can see that they're going to um, be reciprocal so i can see that you're going to both be having an opportunity to really be speaking with each other clearly and cutting off people who are trying to use your relationship or your success within this relationship for their own their own pleasures or their own gains without doing any internal work themselves so yeah that's going to be super important for you to make sure that you are actually just like cutting off people who are trying to like give you negative self-talk or thing like give you negative talk or anything like that you need to just keep talking to yourself positively and uplifting yourself so yeah i can see though that with the full card coming out that you are also manifesting the opportunity to just have a leap of faith to be able to trust in the divine and to be able to trust your intuition without having to think too much about it without having to think oh my goodness is this going to happen if i do this and i can see that you're going to be rewarded for this plentifully abundantly because so many people have been watching you and they have been wanting you to take this leap of faith not not like the karmics but people like your angelic team and your guides and your spirit team and your soul tribe who have been watching you who have been thinking wow this person is so divine they deserve such a beautiful life i don't understand why they're not able to achieve this so i can see that when you trust in the, in the divine over this full moon period that actually the divine is going to be answering all of your prayers for you and you're going to be receiving a lot of love i can see that, that you're just wanting love from one person you have been trying to manifest this one person for a little while and you do feel a little bit like they're too good for you but the truth is no one's too good for anybody and the truth is again what you want also wants you so it's important to realize that the person who you are manifesting wants you as well and and everything that you have been envisaging is is coming to full fruition so pile number three don't give up on your hopes and dreams because you are so loved and i can see that you are, are manifesting the opportunity during this full moon period to give your love out to the person who you love the most and i can see that they're going to be reciprocal and they're going to show you that same love back but when it comes to the people who aren't showing you the same kind of love, don't worry about like, because obviously you are in your King of Swords energy and everything like that, don't worry about arguing or fighting with them, just cut them off and just do you, just focus on what it is that you can change and all of the things that you can do, because remember that you create your reality 2424 on the clock, so you need to make sure 24 is a number all about making sure that 
we are staying harmonised, dual and balanced, but also taking the right kind of steps towards grounding our reality. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. I'm going to shuffle them before I put them back, so that's why I didn't put it back on the deck if anybody was wondering. But yeah, thank you very much for watching this video today, or watching this tarot card reading. I have very much enjoyed this reading and I hope that you found it helpful and informative for you and I hope that next time, well I hope that you have a great full moon period first of all, I hope that the full moon brings you like everything that you've ever wanted and it is abundant for you but I also hope that I will see you next time so thank you very much, goodbye and also don't forget to check out the links in the description down below. So that is what you manifested during the full moon in Gemini portal. Thank you very much. See you. Goodbye. One love.